Hello guys, it's Paula. I am going to share some different things with you as I work. Um, really have no plan whatsoever. I've started a winter, not a Christmas, a winter journal. It's a three ring binder and its color theme is white, silver, and blue. Okay, have no idea what I'm going to do. I needed to come in here and sit down and start working on it. And I felt a little bit brain dead because I didn't know what to do. So, I'll show you what the journal looks like. It is made out of a handmade paper. Heavy duty. And it's it was a, like a Betty Crocker um, three ring binder. And it was just not... Just didn't it look grungy to me I did this seam here in the front because I thought maybe I'd put ribbon there but now I love this seam I matched up the paper because the paper wasn't wide enough to start with plus I had to meet it here at the spine so I'll open it up I think I showed you some of this last night I showed you that the insides are silver paper. Now I'm just going to tell you I did not glue tightly along here on purpose. I did the best I could but you know this paper is not a real motion type paper this glitter paper but I mean it's it's glued down but if you see it kind of bend a little bit that's because I expected it to. Um, Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's just start doing some stuff. Um, if you want to come along with me and do and play, not knowing what you're going to do, join me. <laughs> um, hope you guys got plenty of turkey. Uh, we didn't have turkey. <laughs> we had prime rib at my daughter's house because they had had Thanksgiving over at her husband's family's. And they had already had turkey, and they just weren't in the mood for turkey again. Which is fine. I'll do turkey at Christmas. If I can, we'll see. Anyway, went vintage shopping again today. And I was going to go tomorrow and get a new dining room table. We downsized many years ago to a much smaller home. And um, I was in need of a new table and I wanted something small that would fit into my dining room and um, when we were at one of the vintage shops we were in another town I found a table and four chairs and a little buffet and they were all the right colors they were kind of like an off-white um, my trim is like an off-white, kind of beigey off-white, and that's what the table is. It has the drop leaves on both sides. So I can just set it up with two chairs and then put the other two chairs in the corner and then put the little buffet there. And when you open it out, it's bigger than the one I was going to buy at the furniture store. I got the buffet, four chairs, and the table. It had been completely refinished, redone, and... Um, it was half the price I was going to pay for my new table and chairs and no buffet. So I was excited about that. I found more photos. I stocked up on anything Christmas so that I'd have it for next year. I got quite a bit actually. And um, let's see, what else did I get? I got some, of course, you know, I always grab doilies of some sort. And... Um, I found some flash cards and some new bingo cards and just, you know, that's the kind of stuff I look for. All right, so this first page is done. I had this beautiful photograph and someone had taken it of their backyard. And I had this in one of my photos that I had purchased in a a vintage shop a long time ago and I've never got to use it so that's what this is right here and I mounted it onto this homemade paper which is just a bunch of little tiny circles 
and then onto the silver and white. I glued it on the right side and on the bottom, and then it opens here on the left to tuck. So if you want to tuck something, you can tuck it on the left side into this pocket. Now I haven't decided about anything being tucked yet. Uh, so that will be something. And I had this glass flower that I have never had a need for. Have almost thrown it away several times. Now yes, it is big and it is out there, but it just looked cold to me. So, I used an ideas book that was very old. Oh gosh, I don't know if I have the year, but it was old. <laughs> this was the front page um, of the book. Of course, I had to cut off the title of the book and so forth. And here is the inside of the front cover, which is just eyes. I'll kind of do a fast flip through. Now, mind you, I'll do a flip through when it's over, but this is some of the cardstock that I had bought. I don't know if I've done this already or not, you guys. If so, I'm sorry. I'm going to do it really fast anyway. Um, every page is cut the same. I'm not going to ink at all in this book because I like the crisp whiteness of it. Some of these pages from the idea of books and these kind of things have to be covered. Hobby Lobby puts those labels on there. I hate it. But some of the stuff in them, now this is, I'll keep, but some of the stuff on the back sides of my, my pictures um, are gonna have to be covered up because I don't, either I don't like them or it doesn't go with the theme. And, um, oh, it looks like I put a little, tuck in there to cover up that 59 cent thing <laughs> and I don't want it to look Christmas because it's not Christmas it's for a cozy winter here we have a pocket I put music sheet over the back um, a music sheet over the back of this picture because I didn't want um, this to the back picture to show I didn't care for it so I just put music sheet over it and I'll do that sort of thing on several of them and oh how did that get stuck together oh I know I put some of this ripply paper right here onto this view uh, the back of the book had blue music uh, sheet but down here it had some kind of advertisement so I just covered that up and made a long pocket now I know what I want to do here I think so let me I don't know where I put anything. I don't want to use too much glitter because I feel like we've already used a lot. Uh, but I have so many scraps over here, you wouldn't even believe it. Scraps here, I've got stuff all over this place. This is really pretty. I thought I might do a journaling card out of this. Look at that sun just shining on that snow. I'm going to keep that one to the side. I don't want to use that for anything. Um, we can... Uh, I'm looking here, ladies. I'm sorry. I'm trying to decide if I want to put... My first thought was to put some of this across here. But I think it's going to blend too much. So how about we just put um, a strip of this across the top. So you can kind of tell what, what is, um, what's going to be the pocket, where the pocket starts. Plus this paper is more fragile than your regular scrapbook paper. And I don't want it to be, you know, torn first time somebody gets their new book. Um, okay, let's see. This is the very first three ring binder I've ever done. Um, tell me if you've done one before in the comments below. And if so, what was the theme and or was there a theme? And 
um, what did you, some of the things you ended up doing. Um, I think I'm just going to glue this right across here. No ink, which is hard for me, but I do like it just being clean, which is not like me, but you know when you have something that's just so white, you know, you go out when it first snows and you step out there and it's so clean and a dog hasn't came and peed on the snow yet <laughs> or anything like that. That's that's the feeling I want it to have, that clean freshness. Okay, now let me make sure we're not gluing this down here. So I kind of had an idea of making, I'm going to, I'm going to elaborate on this idea on another video, but for today, I'm just going to, um, just kind of, I cut this, I'm just wanting to make sure it's straight. I'm kind of stair-stepping my paper just to do something different. And that's really crooked. <laughs> but what can I say? I did cut it crooked and my scissors keep making it kind of zaggy looking. You know what? Let me get a different piece. Uh, what did I do with my paper? My regular paper. And now I gotta find it before I can say, let me get another piece. Uh, I thought I had another piece here. I just made copies of, um, I just made, co I, I went ahead and cut two because I knew I used my, um, I know me, I cut two. Okay, so I just kind of stair-stepped my paper, scored it, folded it so it'd be kind of, you know. But I'm going to elaborate on this uh, in a video sometime and come up with some different ways of doing it. So right now we just kind of have an accordion style. It's just a, a, a regular size piece of paper. What is it? Eight and a half by 11. Yeah. And um, so, and then I just kind of, I thought what we could do, I'm going to move my book over. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I wasn't done here. I wanted to show you this first. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever made uh, just like taking little bits of stuff that you have left over, like fabric, muslin, uh, lace, um, crochet, you know, it just goes on and on, paper, and then I took, also took some sari silk and made it like kind of twisted it and put it in the back and made it like a flower. Now, I was inspired by Tracy Fox. She did something similar to this and I don't know who she was inspired by. So I just kind of tried it and this one turned out okay. What you wanna do is make sure your points are like flowers. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I, we'll make one. Let's start out with, um, let's just start out with a square of crochet doily. Okay, this is like a, a crochet doily. We're just gonna lay it right here on this white so we can kind of see what we're doing. Now I'm gonna turn it at an angle because this is a point, 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 right? So then I think I wanna go with some fabric that's just a maybe a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. Um, now, I don't know if this is how they recommend you do it, but this is how I did mine. <laughs> now, if you notice, this is gonna cover up that little point. So let's get a smaller one and see if it does the same thing. I don't know if it will. Or maybe we should start off like this. And then we have points from all directions to start with. And then 
I don't even know what scraps I have over here, guys. I'm kind of just digging and talking at the same time. Here's a white. So now let's turn the white one at an angle. Um, here's a piece of lace. You know, there's, I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. And I'm just kind of turning them, you know, and trying to get a point out of the deal. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And, you know, you might have to cut some of your lace. That's lace. I don't want to use that. Let's, let's use some of this white edging. This is the edge of the fabric I used. Let's see. I don't want to cover the points, so let's go like that. Now, let's go into some more lace. I don't want it to be a lot of blue. So, you know, I'm just kind of, let's do it like that. And then, I wanted to kind of top it with something kind of round. So, I've got this little piece of um, ribbon. And I'm just going to kind of, it's already kind of rounded right there with a point. So, I'm just going to kind of cut it that way. I think you can do it however you want. See, this is kind of how it ends up. All right, so, and let's point it out this way. Then you want a button, and you want your button, you can use vintage buttons, but I'll tell you this, you want your button to be as wide as whatever you're working with. Where did my buttons go? Who has my buttons? Buttons, buttons, where are the buttons? I had a whole bunch here before I ran to the vintage shops. Well, that is aggravating. This is called not being organized today. You know, normally I'm pretty organized. So let's do, oh, there they are. Um, I started to say, Paula, what is up? Here is, um, this is a vintage button actually. This little button right here. How cute is that? Now, I'm using Snow White. Um, this. <laughs> I just went black. Cheesecloth. Okay, I'm using Snow White so that it would be crisp. Now, I, I'm, I'm just going to make this one because I don't think we need more than three in a book, right? And I'm cutting straight across. And I want it to kind of be a rectangle. And then I'm going to take the opposite corners, like this corner and this corner. And I'm kind of going to just kind of roll it over on itself, lay it down. This way it'll look kind of like a, a little bit like a, a leaf, maybe. We'll see. And then I just stuck it in the middle. Now, I think... If you wanted one to come down like this, you could do that too. So let's do that one this way. Now I've already got my thread needle, my needle threaded, my thread needled. Um, and so, excuse me, I've got a needle in my mouth. So I'm just, you know, going to stitch this in the middle. You can do this. Tracy did hers in browns, which I thought was you know, you know, she likes the earth tone colors a lot, and I do too. Um, but I have a tendency to go all over the place with different colors. I like to try different things. Now, I'm trying to get my button through, I mean, needle through here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get my needle through, and then I'll set my button on. It was stuck on something. And I might have to pull it over a little bit. Let's go up. Yeah, I was coming in here to work and I thought, you know what? I haven't made a video today. And I don't, I posted one yesterday, I believe, but I, I haven't had it, you know, with it being holiday, it, you know how it is. I hadn't I'd done one and I'm like, I got to get my groove back going, <laughs> get back into the groove. That makes more sense. Um, because we've just kind of been lazy. 
I didn't get my button quite centered, guys. Let me pull it over a little bit. I'm gonna pull it over. You know you can, if you've only done one or two stitches, you can always loosen your button and move it back over where you want it. It's just kind of hard to get through here when you're blind, even though I have on glasses. Everything's white, so it makes it kind of hard. Well, I tell you what's hard is this little top ribbon or lace. It's really thick. And it doesn't want the needle isn't, you know, like a power needle. It's not super strong. So there we go. Now I got to go back up into the button now because I had to get myself through that button or through that lace before I could even get to the button. I don't know what happened just then, but anyway, guys, I think you're getting the point. Um, I thought I was up here. Oh, that's what I did. No wonder. I was like, why is my, because I need to come up under the button, not back down under the flower. Hello. Okay. Definitely too much food. Let's see. Now go down here and I would stitch it you know several times I'm not gonna, gonna worry about doing this on and on and on but you get the point now one of these are longer than the other well leaves are different sizes and and this one is down here you could move this one up if you wanted you could stitch it up a little bit up underneath there if you think it's too long but let me show you how it ends up looking Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty, guys. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but I thought it, I think it's pretty. And then you would just glue it down and you have a flower made out of all your little snippings or what is it Gail calls them, snippings? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna glue that one because I'm not finished stitching it. Let's glue this, this one that has a little bit of blue. We'll glue it down and I'm going to kind of spread the glue out so you know I know it's not going anywhere because it's kind of heavy after you've added a bunch of different things on here okay let's put it on this outside portion right there Now, in this book, I don't know if I'm going to add lace. I'm not sure. I know I'm going to put tabs in it. I may put some paper, some fabric. But I just don't want it to be overly fat. You know, chunky. I don't want it to be a chunky monkey like we talked about before. Um, so, we'll see. Okay, now this is this is a pocket here. All right, now let's go back to our paper. <laughs> I don't even know what I did with it, guys. There it is. Okay, I'm going to move the album over. And, you know, this This has a, you could do this with any color you want. Let me open it out so you can see what it looks like. You just take so much off of the second. You start with the height here. Then you take so much off the second. And then you take whatever you took off here, just lay it over here, and take, you know, twice that much. Okay, here's the one I cut out. See right here? So this is the one I cut out of there, which it's double this. I don't know what I did with that one when I cut it out. But anyway, so we're going to fold it this way so that when you open it out, it comes out like this. Okay, this is just like a copy paper. This is not, it's heavier than a copy paper, but it's, um, you know, because it's not inked, it's hard to see the separation. So I thought what we could do is add some of these scraps that, of scenery, that the snow scenery that's just so beautiful and just, 
you know, decorate it that way. Now, this side's already torn, so I think what we'll do is tear a little bit on this side. This is long enough that we can, we can tear it over here. And even that little piece is kind of cool. Might hang on to that. Never know. I'm trying to decide, do I want these clouds with the mountains? Do I want this part down here? Do I want to do it here and then work our way back? I think so, because look, you can see the sky there. And as we work down, maybe we can find some things that, you know, I don't know, because I've not ever done this before. But we're about to. I'm going to leave this top portion straight, but not the bottom portion. So I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see. I thought I'd leave it straight just so... I mean, I may change my mind once we glue everything down, but we'll see. Hope you guys have been doing good. Haven't been bored and getting a lot of rest of, on the holiday. Can't even believe it's holiday time. I've got to come up with some Christmas gifts. No idea what to get my grandkids. Okay, I did get my daughter-in-law's gift. She's the only one that I've gotten so far. Oh, and I got Charlie some Christmas PJs, but other than that, haven't accomplished a whole, whole lot. Okay, I know I had other scraps. Here's one. It's not quite as wide as I would like it to be. And I know I have more, so let me find them here. Yeah, there they are. Scraps under scraps. Get them over here. I thought this would be fun to do it kind of like this because, um, like this one is part of the back cover. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is part of the front cover. <laughs> so it's not enough to do what I want to do here. So we're going to go like this. And if we close, wait a minute, let me think. We can decorate all sides, but I think I want to do it where we're decorating the front parts first. We don't want to do like that because we have a sky right there. So we want to bring it up. And because this one is more like a cardboard because it's a cover, we might be better off. Hmm, I'm thinking, guys, I'm sorry. We might be better off to either not use it or not tear it. What do you guys think? What do you think? Maybe we should go over and use this. This has, um, this hasn't been used. Or one of these. No, I don't want, that's too small. How about this one? Yeah, because see, the sky is cooperating a little better and it's closer to the size except we still can't tear it let me tear this one and just see you know I won't leave that the trim on the top but let's tear it and just see what we end up with I get my fingers around this um, I'm getting these nails taken off. I've never had this particular type of nails, and I do not like them. My glue will not come off of them. It's like constantly having glue on your fingernails. I mean, you get a certain amount off, but you don't get it all off. And I mean, I've had fake nails and stuff before, but I've never had the dipped nails, whatever that, I mean, those are after my time. Okay, so now we want to tear the opposite side. So let's just flip it around so we tear it the right size. Just barely want to tear on here. Okay. Now, 
because it's so close to the top of the sky, let's do like this. Let's keep it straight. And then we'll tear down here. I think you could do so many things with this. You know, as far as um, decorating this and I have some other ideas, so I'm not going to tell you right now, but we'll do them at some point. Okay, so here we go. Looking good so far. So there we go. Now we've got this going on. Now we could come down to this one, but it's still not quite as wide as I want it to be. So I could tear off of that same one again. But I don't want the same picture. But I want them to be about the same size. I think I have one more over here. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's see. But I don't want a wreath. See, that has a little bit of red on it. But look at those icicles. Oh my word. I've had icicles like that before. It's not pretty. Here, let's do this anyway. We'll stick a button or something. <laughs> not really. But we could if we wanted to. Now my tear tool is blending because it's silver and blue. Okay. Let's do this. It's fun just to use old magazines and well, actually I've just used the one um, and I just picked up, you know, snow paper. I've had not, you know, like winter type snowflakes type paper. Uh, I picked a few things up at Hobby Lobby, but I had ordered, when I ordered my Christmas papers, I went into the winter section and ordered some snowflake papers. So I've known for a long time that I wanted to to do a winter book. To me it's a throw a fire hot chocolate and a good movie. Um, or maybe just on your computer reading whatever you know and um, I just think that that would be, especially for people who work, because, you know. Okay, so, you're kind of seeing what I'm doing here. Now, there's not a whole lot to this. I mean, it's not obviously... Um, anything spectacular, but I just thought it was different. And um, I kind of have some ideas for this, for the future. Um, and you could add ribbons across here if you wanted, or you could add snowflakes across here or up here. I think they're a little big for to put across this and I kind of like the simplicity of this now when you open it it's gonna open like the, just like this let me show you if we want we can add another scene over here I wouldn't add this scene that goes along with this and then you're gonna lift this up one minute and you're gonna go this way and see, it kind of looks like it needs something, doesn't it? Um, I'm thinking, guys. We could just put uh, music. Or, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Or we could just put paper. If we use the same paper. See, now I kind of like that. Um, if I have two pieces... I know I have more of that paper because it may be put up on the shelf, but I know I have more of it. Um, 
I know I have different. I don't want it to be the same paper. I mean, I don't want it to be different papers. Like, see, here's here's this one, which really looks good with that dark, doesn't it? Let's not put the light one on this particular one. Do we want it like that? No, we want it with the sky up. Do we want to tear it or do we want to leave it solid? Hmm. Good question. I kind of think by not tearing this, we give this the spotlight. Do you know what I mean? Now, I also have this. Or, I don't think we need to go lighter. If you're going to do dark, you need to do dark. If you're going to do light, you need to do light. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that's what we're going to do. Let me cut this. And I will need to dig out some more paper whenever I need it next. All right. Now, let's see how long we need it to be. Do we want to tear it on the bottom and not the top and then leave the sides? Let's do. I don't know. I wish you could speak to me, guys. Scream at me. You know, talk to my head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know why. Oh, there went my cutter. Almost went into the trash can. All right, so. Let's just take a little bit off the bottom. I mean, like a little bit, just down at the very bottom. Okay. That was more than a little bit, Paula. But see, I kind of like, I kind of like that. So, we got to cut this one off first. So, I need to, I need to tear it about right here. Have you guys been watching Hallmark movies this week? Or this weekend, I guess I should say. It's pretty much what I've been in my... Of course, we went to another little town and did some shopping. And it was beautiful outside. It was like 67 or something crazy. And um, it was nice. Let me trim the top of this one off so we can kind of look make sense out of what we're doing here. Let me mark it. Mark it with my fingernail. How many of you do that? Decide how far up you're gonna go with your fingernail. And how many times do you mess it up? I do it all the time. And I really don't, I'm not looking for perfection for this. I, the reason I didn't do the, tear the sides on these was so that the scene could be the star of the show, which is basically the page. Okay, so I like that better. So let's fill this back. We're not going to glue until we're all done. Because I might change my mind. You know how that is. Okay, so... I think that's how we had it, didn't we? Okay, so that's not gonna be right. Let me think. Let's take these off for now. All right, we had this on here. And then we did this in here. It can be confusing for an old lady. Okay, now, this is the first one that folds out. So it will need its own little thing. Okay. And then this one's going to fold out. So we can't use both of those, but we can use this one. Which goes with both of these. Okay, so let's fold those back like that. We'll fold this. Wait a minute. Yes. 
don't ask me. Okay, now this one goes right here. I don't mean to confuse you guys, but I'm gonna be honest, I haven't done this before. So we're doing it together. We're learning it together. So it's not something I'm trying to teach you. I just decided to turn on turn on uh, the video and just do it together. I think you learn by doing. Okay, so there's that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that over. Now we gotta go back. <laughs> Now we gotta go back again, guys. Here we go. Duh, this goes right here. Because now it's gonna go this way. And this one is already on there. That's easy enough, huh? And if you want to, you can decorate the very last one, which is right here. And I, I say, why not? <laughs> why leave one blank, you know? Why leave one blank? Um, only we don't have, we can't tear it because we don't have, let's do this one. It, it, it's like some of the others, but you know what? It didn't matter. We're just having fun. And unless you point it out to somebody, nobody's going to notice that it's, you know, it goes along with one of the other scenes. Okay, so you wanna get it over far enough that it's still on the page, but And you know, if all else fails, anytime you want, you can always put music sheets on anything you do as kind of a filler. <laughs> I do it a lot. I just, but I do love the way it looks. In all honesty, I do. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna put this over here out of the way so it doesn't clang around on my table, which I'm sorry if that bugs some of you guys, but you know what? This, this mat was so necessary for me. Okay, um, my other mat, just would not stay clean. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip everything over and we're gonna start gluing. I wouldn't worry about using a lot of glue because, I mean, that would take a lot of glue if you did. Glue your top really well. I mean, like, put a line across the top and bottom and then just do little, little amounts. Just make sure you get around your edges like that but just kind of, because I think, I, I don't know about you guys, but I use too much glue, and this glue is not cheap. Sometimes I wished at night the glue fairy would just drop down a whole box. <laughs> don't you? I mean, wouldn't that be cool? Okay, uh, don't lay down till you know where you want it. I'm gonna move this because it's hard to tell what goes where, okay. Everything's kind of blending. The main thing is that you get this part up here straight, especially since everything else is torn. Do you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, guys? Okay. You guys will be starting your December dailies. Has everybody got their stuff out and got it all organized? I will not be sharing December dailies on my channel. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I am not going to do one because it's just my husband and I. And, um, and actually, don't fall over. I've never done one before because I've really not had any. I mean, they didn't have them when my children were young. And um, so I never... I never did one. Now, I walk, I know what they are. I know how they work and all of that. But um, Rick and I, if I did a December daily, it would be me in the craft room, Rick at work, <laughs> uh, 
us on the couch watching movies at night. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things we do. Sometimes cooking, but we're real bad to fast food it through the week. Um, and doing the dishes. <laughs> now, we, we would go see Santa with the grandkids if they wanted us to. Most of them doesn't, I mean, Charlie and Charlie and the two girls are really the only ones that do that now, and they do it separately. We used to all meet up and do it. And then, I guess I could do my birthday whenever it shows up, you know. Um, but it's just, I, we don't, I mean, we are going to put our tree up. We have to go back to get the buffet tomorrow, so that kind of put a damper on the, the whole putting the tree up thing. All right, now, I think this is looking cute, guys. I don't, Tell me what you think. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. I get that. I think it would be cute with a random snowflake here and there. Maybe we can do that. Maybe I can punch. Oh, I know where everything goes, but maybe I could punch a, um, a random snowflake here and there. I love this. It makes me think of Alaska. We just went to Alaska this um, in May, this past May. Oh my word. Makes me think of Alaska. Charlie has not been feeling good, you guys. I had to put him back on steroids because as soon as the uh, the dose pack type steroid was finished, he started hurting again, and he started running a low-grade fever. So we know whatever's going on is autoimmune, but he is starting to understand stuff so well and it's hard to hear him talk about it um little sweet angel you know he papa took him and lucy to the movie last night because we were watching our mom and dad went to a basketball game because they needed a break you know what that's like as a parent See, this goes like this. Okay. Okay. I put that on the wrong stinking side, you guys. Who let me do that? <laughs> Which one of you let me do that? It don't matter. We'll put we'll put this other one. No, wait a minute. Maybe I didn't. I don't know if I did or not. We'll, we'll see if we can make it. We'll force it. No, that side's the wrong one. Yeah, I should have put it right here. That's why you don't take your papers off because. But this one works just as well. That's not a big deal. Um, anyway, I got distracted about my grand with my grandbaby. Um, he um, he wouldn't he couldn't even sit through the movie. I mean, he was like he wanted to go home. He didn't feel good and course my granddaughter she was all involved in the movie so my husband just took him and and helped him and walked with him and took him to the arcade and you know got him calmed down got him distracted with the little toys in the machine so him and Papa didn't get to see the movie but my granddaughter she got to see. So when he comes home, he's ready for his pajamas, and he, I get him a pillow, and he gets all piled up, because mom and dad, they had to go to Oklahoma City, which is a couple hours from Tulsa, to um, watch the game. And, um, and he's had a cough. And the doctors say that it's dry, you know, so not just having sleep with a humidifier. And he never has, like, you know, his, 
before his new immune system came in, he wasn't sick. I mean, you know, like with just everyday colds and stuff. But he has a cough and a runny nose. And, you know, that's what school does to children. <laughs> but... He mostly just hurts in his joints and it makes me crazy. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna put the lid on my glue and I'm gonna pull out my punch. If I can find my lid. Okay, uh, I've got a bunch of punches over here and I just thought, you know, we can punch, we can punch up some stuff. I'm thinking, why not punch some of this this is paper that um, is homemade or handmade paper also. Um, and I gotta move this. I'm gonna knock my cutter down. I had to buy a new cutter, you guys. My cutter quit, it wouldn't align. I couldn't even believe it. Um, I don't know how long we've been on here. Almost an hour, guys. Let's finish this. Um, what was I gonna say? I had to buy a new cutter, and that was frustrating, as I'll get out. Well, I guess this is the only piece of um, this we have, so I'm, I don't wanna use all of it, but we'll use some of it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little, I think I got this at Creative Memories, this little, <laughs> and he doesn't wanna cut it. <laughs> Of course, because it's not real paper. So it wants to jam up my... Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's try some different paper. Let's just get some paper. Some, uh, let's just get something that's blue. We'll, just, we'll do some blue stuff. Yeah, see, it works fine on that. But I don't, I think that's gonna blend. Maybe we should just do white. Let's just do white, regular white paper, real paper. Okay, here's some. Um, anyway, so tomorrow I get to see my son and his, his three kids and his wife. They um, sent me a picture today of, they had gone to the zoo. It was so pretty today. I'm glad they did that today. Uh, they're usually so busy they don't have time to do anything because he has his own business. <laughs> and um, so I just punched out, I thought I punched out four, but I guess I punched out three. Oh, there it is right there, four. And see, I think that just adds a little something. I'm just gonna kind of let them drop like they're dropping down. And um, maybe we'll put one right there. Yeah. Is that enough, you think? Let me get some more. Let me find some more paper. I know I have it over here because I, I used some of it. Okay, now. Usually I would say, okay, we need to do one in here. Let's do that one there. And then come down here with this one. I want it to kind of look like they're just kind of floating down. Do you know what I'm saying? All right. And, you know, even they could even be floating off the page if we wanted them to. This one needs to float over the red bow on the reef. <laughs> So, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Um, you know what, instead I'm gonna add it to my Zyron and my little sticker maker because that way we don't have any little uh, edges sticking up. Do you guys still have one of these? I know you're gonna say Paula really, but when I use tiny little things like this, 
I am not putting glue on the back of that sucker. It's enough to make you crazy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit crazy. And if you're doing small letters, it's the worst. So what you want to do is once you once you have that down, you want to um, just kind of burnish them a little bit, you know. I don't want to scratch my, my glass. It's not supposed to scratch, but I don't trust anything. I haven't cut on it yet, but Tim Holtz says you can cut on this mat. But then I read reviews that say you can't. So, what do you do? You don't take a chance if you're me. <laughs> now, this is going to have sticky on it. So watch. Watch what happens. Let's start at the top. To be careful taking them off because if you don't, you'll have them I'm going to put it up as high as I can so you can see it. Now, once you get it pressed down really good, you want to kind of rub over it. it kind of takes the little extra sticky off. You know the little the little um, adhesive remover that I show you all the time that I use on my glue? That's what this is, too. It does the same. This is really what it was made for because... Back in the olden days, <laughs> when I was scrapbooking, um, you would, these were like really popular. Everybody had a Xyron. And it, they just kind of got to where, I think because of the stickiness that they would leave, people didn't like them. But I, I learned how to deal with them. But I keep my small one for little things like this. I can tolerate it. And I bought the eraser, and it does work. See, like, this isn't sticky at all. Okay, so now we can come on in and go down our sheet. I think I just tore that particular one. Ah, uh, growl, Paula. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one right here. Well, I guess I didn't. Okay. That's why you kind of want to let it roll off on its own. Don't pull too hard. I really should have brought that one down a little further. I might have to do one more. Before you know it, we got 20 on there. I didn't, I had, you know, pe myself included, people have a tendency, myself included, to over, overdo things like when you're putting dots on something, for instance, or you're filling in something with hearts or whatever. It's real easy to just, you know, overdo. And, um, So less is best. And another little clue I can give you is if you're using like um, little dots or little hearts or something, little gems or something like that on one of your projects, it's better to use odd numbers um, than to use even numbers. It has something to do with how the eye sees it or how the brain reads it, or I don't know. My brain don't care. But, see, this is why I did odd numbers. But I like, I like uh, this one little piece right there is wanting to stick up. I guess I must have tore the very little end of, of my little, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue. Come out of there. When you want it to come out, it doesn't want to come out, but when you don't want it to, it leaks out like a crazy glue. Okay. 
and that will stick that back down. So guys, I know this was not like a big deal thing, but I wanted to let you know that I was getting started on this winter book and, um, and that I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. You know, with my Christmas books, I had a plan, but I did know that I was making this for this pocket. I did know that I wanted to do it completely winter, no snowmen. I know you build snowmen in the winter. I can do sleds and children ice skating, but I didn't want to do snowmen because most of the time they have a holly in their hair or something Christmassy, and I, I just, I couldn't do it. So this is a completed page, and um, so I'm excited that we've completed one. Or really, we've, as soon as we put something back here, we will have completed the inside cover. But, um, so we've completed this page with our little floral. We'll call it a winter flower. Um, and then, and this is in there, which I think, I don't know about you guys, but it's simple, but it's fun. And I'm going to come up with something with this whole stair step thing that I came up with. I'm sure I didn't come up with it. I'm sure someone else has come up with it, but you know what I'm saying. I just came up with it for myself, but yeah, I mean, I might even go back and put an odd number of snowflakes on this side too, because it looks kind of weird. And maybe some down in here where you can't see. See, we've got three here. So we could add another one here, not on here because that's part of this. So the pages that already have snowflakes on them, don't change that, I guess is what I'm saying. But yeah, so we have that completed. Might not seem like we got a lot done, but I do move slow sometimes. I was running my mouth too much, probably. Um, I was trying to decide if I, I think I want to attach this page to this page. I kind of like that blue around there like that. And I think I might attach it down the middle, not on the outside, just with some glue. Well, let's just do it. Let me see how much time we got. Okay, this is the last thing. I'm gonna show you this and then I have to stop. I'll never get my, uh, so I'm going to go like this. I'm just going to do a straight line of glue. See, like that? And then a little straight line of glue right here. We're going to do like pockets. Okay. And I'm going to do on the inside of the three ring binder. Just a little line of glue right there. This way, this will be our pockets. Now, Keep this straight while you do that because you don't want to smear it everywhere. I think I'm going to add some envelopes to this too. Not to this, but to the book. Look at that. And it ended up covering the back of that page that had some funky picture on it. And, um... This is gonna be a fun book. I'm having fun doing it because I've not done one like this before. I've seen a lot of them done, but not by me. So see, now we have two pockets and I'll make two thin little tags to come out the side. And I'll do something cool on the ends. All right, guys, I gotta go because this is going to take forever to upload and if it gets done in time I'll come back and do another one all right guys good to talk to you um go get creative and um we'll create again together in the next video all right good night see you next time don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe bye